mentioned earlier, the Matanzas Waterkeeper, she's uh, Matanzas Riverkeeper, she's actually the uh, chair of Waterkeepers Florida. And when I saw the video of Emmett playing over there, I said, she's stealing some of our musicians. But he's not our musician. He's just come here to play for us as all the others have. So, um, <clears throat> the Suwannee Riverkeeper is one project of walls. We have a bunch of others. One of them is cleaning up trash. Now that you heard about his outings, another is water trails, which uh, over at Walls Booth, we have these nice trifold brochures for two water trails with the Cochin Little River Water Trail and the Alapaha River Water Trail. They have maps, they have distances between the put-ins, they have where all the put-ins are, they have stuff you'll see, they have pictures, they have a painting by Julie Boland in each one. So, and they're free. These were paid by, for by the, I can't believe I'm saying this again, the Georgia Department of Natural Resources. Yeah. Now, uh, how many of you are from Florida? I know there's some of you. Yep, yep. Those of you from Florida, we have a petition for you. Florida is one of only two states I know where you can petition to put a constitutional amendment on the ballot. There was California. And there is a petition circulating now to put a constitutional right to clean water on the ballot in 2024 in Florida. The petition, you can get it right here, you can get it online. We also have the full text of the Constitutional Amendment. You can also get that online. I strongly recommend that you sign it. It's, uh, you only need like 900,000 signatures. Or practically speaking, more like a million, because you know, some are, some are not going to be good. And that sounds like a lot of people, but there's more than 20 million people in Florida, so it is actually doable. And that'll make a huge difference. The Florida Constitution has all sorts of nice words about water, but they're all down in like you know, Article 14 or something. This will be right up in Article 1 alongside things like freedom of speech. <coughs> and um, you know, there's always problems with freedom of speech. You got states and national governments passing things like, you know, protesting pipelines, you're a criminal. Okay, but at least somebody can challenge that on the basis of the First Amendment and possibly win. On well, the case of clean water, there ain't no such thing. This would make such a right, a basic right, in the Florida Constitution, which would mean our job as water keeper, your job as trying to keep the waters clean would be easier. So I have solved everything, but it would help. So I highly recommend that you sign that. We do all sorts of other things. Did Gretchen actually talk about water quality testing? All right, we do water quality testing. We actually, did you talk about that? You gonna talk about that? She wants to say something. I have the, the right to clean water petitions here. You can take it home and fill it out, uh, send it in. Uh, I have the information so that we or if you're from Florida, just raise your hand, I'll bring you. So, water quality testing. We also won a Georgia statewide award for that. We do volunteer water quality testing, and we do have testers in Florida. We have a bunch down at Trepo uh, on each Tuckney and Santa Fe rivers. They test every other week, and so far they've been clean, which is what we want. But they're worried about septic tanks. And as we test, we can find out if there's any problems. Upstream in Georgia, okay, y'all from Florida, what, what do you think it is every time there's contamination in the river? Oh, come on, everybody in Florida thinks it's Valdosta every time. Actually, lately, for the last two years, it hasn't been. It's mostly cattle manure out of Brooks County, Georgia, and there's something getting into the rivers upstream which we are now testing a bunch of creeks and a bunch of spots on the river country to try to find. So that's another thing we're doing. Yeah. Uh, your, uh, your, your ticket to get in here, this helps with this work. Your memberships help. 
if you want to buy a ticket to get that kayak, that helps. Anything you do to contribute to Walls helps. And of course, the musicians coming here to play, that helps. So thank you, musicians. Um, I could talk a lot longer, but instead, we could hear music. So what we got next here, why, well, actually, Gretchen's supposed to talk about grants. Anybody like writing grant proposals? That's a very popular thing. Everybody raise your hand now. Oh, oh, oh. David and, and uh, Bird want to write grants. Yay. Okay, but funny we should mention Bird because if 